Hello friends, this is Jeff playing Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. Hey there, handsome. Uh hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you were passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. Sure was. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and... Alright, look nice and spiffy. Okay, so you gotta be careful when new chapters arrive because sometimes, you know, different things happen and sometimes they... I think there was, I think there was a magazine here, but I think I already got it though, but anyways. Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. Yep. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal. Knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> oh, man, because he, he hit me a couple of times pretty good. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really got to get going. Mm, you'll like it, I promise. I got to get going now. I'll see you around. Banana cream pie. Hey, we just got 50 bucks. And we can take this guy's car. Nice. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Hey, Good to meet you, you Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. That's a loot. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. 
I was in the war, Mr. Carino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one. And there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, I don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job are we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You could get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. All right, game saved. Just gonna look around, cause sometimes in the new chapters they put magazines around and stuff. I don't remember everywhere they would do that, so I just take a moment. But anyways, hey, now I noticed, yeah, I'm, I'm up. I was gonna kind of get a drink over here when I first came in, but don't need to. Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay. Yeah, so long, buddy. Adios.
Oh, that's a nice little ride. Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Come on in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt. Three quarters of a mile effective range and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting. But unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey. You need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, Africa? Oh, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? Well, that was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... I was crawling over the fence on the way back. I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way... I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Hmm. Okay. around, Vito. Yeah, look at all the nice houses. I wouldn't mind having one of those. Uh, 
there's a cop right here, you gotta watch out. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Uh, will you buy your ticket? Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So, he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. All right, guns. showtime. They got guns up there in that window. Tim Vito, waste that platform. We got them all. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm going to step over here. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, sandwich right here. I'm hurt a little bit, might as well eat it, right? Alright. Now I think... I think there was a magazine here, but like I said, I already went through this testing it out, so I think I got it already. Just want to make sure you don't miss stuff, right? Yeah. We can't let that fat bastard get away. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. We're coming for you, Porky. Going in. You shoot like my sister. What the fuck's the matter with you? Go, go. I got you covered. Oh, fuck. Watch out! Back me up, Vito. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's Joe. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. I didn't expect you. I did not expect you to be there. Oh, that's Joe again. See, I'm not. <laughs> that's so funny. 
Ay, ay, ay. That'd be called friendly fire. Yeah, I think the guy... There was a guy over here that I think was supposed to go up there and be standing right here to shoot at us, but I think I killed him before he even got, got to there. I won't want to get on your bad side. Vito. Come on, we're taking the elevator. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. We should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? <sighs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no, we gotta do this all over again. No. Alright, well, it's still kind of fun for me, but to do it again. But I like cars when they blow up, but, anyways, alright. Jeez. Alright, we're gonna just get going. Like I said, you have to. Hey. You have to expect that uh, when you play hard, that I am gonna die. Back me up, Vito. So when you watch my video, you're gonna know that I might have to do something over again. All right. Move it, Vito. We can't let that fat bastard get away. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Yeah. Go, go. We're coming for you, Porky. I'm gonna get. Up, Vito. Oh no! No! Is that the fucking best you oh, got? Oh, oh no! I won't want to get on your bad side. Okay, now let's try this again. Vito. What the hell are you doing, Joe? 
Why? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. We should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Hi, they got me again through here. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. Oi, oh, I gotta do this again. Okay. Jeez, I'm sorry, folks. Hey, that one blew up. I want that to blow up, but that one don't blow up. Dang. What am I doing wrong? Fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. We're coming for you, Porky. Going in. Get me out of here. Open the fucking door. Kill this. You shoot like my sister. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. Way to go, Vito. Get me out. Hey. Come on! Help! Help! Let me out! Oh, fuck! Watch out! Back me up, Vito! What the fuck is that? Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Yeah, like I said, uh, when you play hard, boy, they really can hurt you. What a waste of bulls! Like I said, I usually like the challenge, but I don't want to. I, I hope I don't have to do this one more time. Oh yeah, and I got that guy over there now. He's over there. All right now. Doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. We should try it. I gotta figure out how that guy is killing me like that each time. That's two times in a row. Now, third time is gonna be. I'm gonna take out my Thompson here. So I think we're supposed to go this way to. Oh, hey, wait. This guy right there. Yeah, that one's done. Yeah, I mean, I almost got killed again.
Okay, now, I, I, I don't know if there's any Playboy around here. Let me see. Just, just gotta take a quick look. Eh, I guess not. I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. God. Oh yeah, it's bleeding all Son over. Son of a bitch. Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor. You idiot. He's gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Let's get you to the oh, come on, on. You're heavier than you look. I fuck. I almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. Where am I supposed to be going then? Tell me if I miss anything. Like, I think I already got either. them already, but oh well. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh yeah, I was just about to open up on you, sorry. <laughs> I hide in there. Feet will cover us. God damn it, I knew it. The 
this my 13th contract. It's a fucking jinx. What do you mean, you lucky bastard? Got hurry. Fire spread. <laughs> oh, damn smoke. Shit! Vito, find a way out! Whew, okay. Well, took me a few tries. Sorry about that, folks. I mean, it's still fun, though, but I mean, you know. That's why I like the challenge. If I don't make it. Hey, hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. Now comes the odd part. Give me a few stitches, then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah? And we're not In pursuit of our suspect. We're taking him down. Nah. Roger that. Can't this thing go any faster? I'm going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? Like the size of a fucking golf ball. Oh, man, we almost got wasted by that no big truck. There's an army truck right here. Look at that. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Yeah, I knew that would happen. But Henry's a dead man. Hey, look, try him. Hey, Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Like my fucking grandma. <gasps> this is it's the car, dude. Oh, there. yeah, okay. right in front. All right. You are Greco, the doctor? No, I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, but he's gonna bleed. Thanks, Doc. Good oh, God, Henry. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know, this could have waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me in my place. Please. All right. All right, it's saved. You have enough cash to pay your father's debt. All right. And that's wanted cars, so... There's a cop right there. Hey, you! Get out! Please don't shoot! Oh no, he's gonna kill us all! Look out!
That door closed good now this time, I see. Thank you. All right, they got my health back up. Good. Oops. Watch it, oh, buddy. sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't watching. I live. Oh, Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, hey, have you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Okay, so I, I didn't notice if it saved, but it said go home. Okay, so going to sleep takes you to the next chapter. Okay.
Okay, but, like I said, without a save, um, anything I do, if I die, I don't know where it'll put me. It'll put me back at the other objective, and then I'd have to go back to... I mean, I think it saved when I delivered Henry, but I didn't see it save when I gave Francisco the money. So I'm not quite certain, but... But I do want to, you know, I usually like to end the episode after, right before a save or whatever, so I don't quite think. Let me just go look up here just for the heck of it. Okay, so my health is pretty good and all that. Um, I think, well, if it, I, I forget what happens, but if it rolls into another one, it'll have to be at some point when it saves that I see it that I'll have to stop it. Because if I, if I go right here, it's going to roll into it. So we'll, we'll, we'll roll into the next thing, but we'll then stop it whenever it does save. So here we go. I noticed the audio's cut out, so... Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a paddle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew about and any of my other activities. I find your crime to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me yourself. out of this one. Should it was a lost cause from day one. Three months later... They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Ouch. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to hell, new boys. Ah, yeah, me, baby. Baby. That's right, welcome to my life. <laughs> We're gonna get you. <laughs> Ooh, look at the that. federal pen. Thieves, murderers, child molesters, we they were here, all boy. here. Come on, the yeah. worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no Ooh, monkey woo, business, woo, or else. Woo, woo.
make problems, you son of a bitch? Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What, do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get back in line. <laughs> no. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Right there, turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told. In the hole. Follow me. I can smell you, new fish. Welcome home. Get in. Oh, uh, you have to use the bed. Okay. Well, that was rough. This was going to be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Oh, thank goodness it's saved. Okay, so, alright, this is where the episode will end, and I will pick it up here next time. We are at prison. Loads of fun. Okay, anyways, for right now, this is Jeff. I'm going to sign out, folks. We'll see you around the town some other time. Adios, amigos.